you want to touch me? Come on. Bayonetta is playable here at Tokyo Game Show. Uh, have you heard any reactions from, from gamers playing the game? Tada. We haven't actually heard anybody's reaction to it. We do know that there's a lot of people lining up to play, and we're really happy about that, but we haven't actually heard what they feel about the game yet. What do you think they will feel about the game? <laughs> <laughs> Tough question. Um, it's really hard to imagine what people might actually say, but what we'd like to hear is it's interesting, you know, especially if somebody would say, oh, I'd like to buy this game. Yeah, really, I mean, it's not simply as, uh, oh, I'd like to hear that the game is interesting, but, you know, it, this is uh, an opportunity for people to actually get the controller in the hand and feel what the game is like, and I'd really like to hear uh, their honest opinion on once they've actually played the game and not simply what other people have said about the game or what they've heard about the game, but actually once they've experienced it, once they've played it, and let that be their guide for judging the game. I played it a bit yesterday, and uh, I felt it took... Uh, it, it's, it's a lot to, to, to take in uh, the control system in a very short time, so maybe trying it here in a show is not the best place to try it. Uh, they're wondering if maybe that's a request then for a download demo, something they can play at home. Um, and so uh, if that is the case, then they can say, yeah, there actually is a download demo that will be available for both Japan and in the West. And, you know, that'll give any player an opportunity to play the game uh, as freely as they wanted to and play it as many times as they want to once they've got the, the demo in their hand. I'm very impressed by the, the sort of the, the creative, artistic vision of, of Bayonetta. It's, it's very different. Uh, can you talk us through a little bit about the creative process and, and how that is at your studio? As far as the, the vision of creating Bayonetta, um, uh, creating a character that is uh, really appealing to players uh, is, is something that's really important and something really had dealing. Uh, Kami-san feels that that's uh, one of Japan's specialties, is making these characters that really sort of stand out and really uh, appealing to, to the gamers um, and uh, not just sort of, you know, carbon copy uh, uh, types of characters. And so setting out to make Bayonetta, that was one of the things that they really had impor held important was um, uh, working, trying to create a, a really unique, standout, and and uh, appealing character. Um, one other important aspect, though, is is uh, really goes to the heart of the game. Is the game is built at 60 frames per second, and so um, you know, more so than just that the game looks good. Uh, more important than that is that the game feels good when you're playing it. And playing the game and having the game built around 60 frames per second is what really gives it that uh, intuitive and, and fluid feeling that uh, sets the game apart from all others. How, uh, how has it been your first uh, time with the Platinum Games since you went out on your own? How has that experience been? So, uh, probably the biggest thing is that, um, you know, once Platinum Games was uh, brought together, and this is one of the first games to be put out of it, is the team really had to work from scratch. They had no reference of material, no libraries, no, um, you know, no materials and nothing to base the work on. So they had to build everything, graphics, um, tools, everything from scratch. And so, um, you know, it was really asking a lot, really put a lot of pressure onto the team to be able to come up with this and pull off a game of this level, this caliber, um, and do it all from scratch without any assistance from anybody. Um, and so, uh, you know, uh, Kami San feels maybe it was a little bit hard on the team, but, you know, maybe in the end it, it was worth it, hopefully. Um, uh, but Hashimoto San's opinion is that, you know, especially for Platinum Games, this is a really big first step. This is one of the first titles to come out of Platinum Games. And so it's a really big, important step for Platinum. But maybe also it's a, it's a good thing to get a clean slate. You don't have to work on games that you have worked on before and sequels and pressures from a publisher who wants sequels and things like that. Yeah, um, I mean, creating a game like Bayonetta, it's not like uh, the team has set out to, oh, let's let's make a, a huge line of games, or let's let's already start playing the sequels for these kinds of things. If it's, it's something that the users really want, and it's something that there's a lot of call for, then, you know, anything is possible. Um, but, you know, they set out very specifically to make the kinds of games that they, you know, they know what they want to make, and that's that is becomes their focus, and everything else uh, beyond that is peripheral. They want to make what they want to make. Is there anything that you feel personally that you bring to your, your games? Uh, because you've been involved in, in very, very successful, very, very strong games. Is it something uh, personal that you think you bring to the games? Uh, so yes, Kamisan feels yes, absolutely, that uh, the director's uh, personal uh, uh, perspective, uh, personality really comes in when you're making a game. Uh, for Kamisan himself, uh, his goal is always to make something for the user, something for the player. Uh, wants them to be entertained, wants them to enjoy the hell out of whatever it is he's going to make, whatever that game might be. And so uh, he genuinely feels that... Uh, you know, when you've built up a game, when someone plays a game and you see how the game ebbs and flows and how the game um, um, 
fills out, you can really see what the director was thinking. You can see what the team was trying to do when they were making this game. And you see, it's like being able to see their face when, when you're playing through their game. Um, so yeah, it's it's really important thing. And it, it really comes out naturally when you're trying to, to make a game. Uh, and Hashimo san feels that. You know, having worked with uh, uh, directors like uh, Mikami-san and like Kamiya-san, um, you really do see how much that personality comes into play when, when putting a game together. And you can really see the, you know, the individual differences that each individual, each director puts into a game and really makes it their own. With, with so many personalities at Platinum Games, do you change, does, does that help and do, do you, the different teams uh, bring ideas to each other and things like that? Uh, yes, absolutely. It, it, it does have a lot, add a lot having all these different kinds of people working together with them. Um, uh, while the the personnel of the director and their vision really does play an important role in the development of any game, and there there certainly is the the director's individual touch in a game. Um, that's really only half of, of making a game, and uh, you know it takes a full team and everybody's ideas and everybody's uh, working together and the ability to communicate with each other and trust each other that really makes the game come to life and really gets the game finished. And so um, you know it's a blending of all the various opinions and ideas and values and sense of humor and everything of, about the entire team that really ends up making the game into what it is. Thank you very much for your time. I'm looking forward to Bayonetta.